Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another exciting lesson from SAGT Tech. My name is Asaf, and I hope you enjoy this one. We are still on graphic communications, and today we are going to be treating the single point perspective. This topic is suitable for grade 7, term 1, week 3, as compiled by myself, K. Pelwani, at SA Tech GET. There are, of course, several steps that you need to follow when you draw your single point perspective. You recall that the perspective drawing is not the actual drawing that you see, but that's what your eyes actually uh, tend to see when you look at an object. It looks like it's narrowing from the side, uh, and as you go further and further away from it, it looks like it starts to vanish. That's why we call it a perspective drawing. What is important about single point perspective is that you have got it, your drawing must resemble the initial oblique uh, drawing that you had. And as dictated by policy, we only have got to do drawings in the form of cubes. As you see here, we've got a stove that's drawn in the form of cubes. Therefore, we're going to draw our perspective drawing from the corners of the stove. We are not going to be concentrating on the items that you see on the stove itself, like the handles, your switches, and so forth. We only concentrate on the outer part of the stove. Now, very important, you need to understand that you can only draw a single pen perspective from an oblique drawing, not an isometric drawing. Immediately when you start uh, using isometric drawing, you're now getting into the double point perspective. Let's start. If point number one, uh, we need to put on our oblique drawing. And you've got to indicate this is your front, this is your side, and that is your top. It's important for you to know which part is which part so that whenever you start drawing or making your drawing, you know exactly as uh, per your reference drawing, what, what are you going to put and where. Let's start with the um, points that we need to follow or the procedure. Number one, you need to draw a straight horizon line, just a little bit below the your, your oblique drawing, have a straight line and call it a horizon line. That's the line where things seem to diminish or where things seem not to be seen anymore. And we 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 we, we say they vanish. It likes they vanish, they don't they're not visible anymore. That's the horizon line. And label it the horizon line. It's not necessary, but you can do that. Then we go to the step number two. The second step that you need to do is to mark a point on the line and name it the VP. It does not matter where you draw the point. It may be to the far right of your line or to the far left or even in the center. It does not matter. But have a point somewhere on, a vanishing, on your horizon line and call it the VP, which is the vanishing point. There's my point, blue in color, and it's called a VP, which is a vanishing point. It's important that you, 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 you show that line. It's, it's very, very important. Now, after doing that, we check our next step. It says, a little lower than your horizon line, draw the front part of your drawing. Look at the front there. I'll assert to you that it's important that you label it so that you know what to draw. Let's draw our front part here a little lower than the horizon line. There is our front part. You know, it looks exactly like the way it looks up there on our oblique drawing. Here is our front part. Let's check the next step. It says, now draw faint lines from all corners of the front part of your vanishing to the vanishing point. Let's check our points, our corners. This is the first corner. This is the second corner, the third one, and the fourth one. From all these corners, we must project very faint lines to the vanishing point. Let's start projecting the lines. This is from the top, another one from the other, uh, the, the top, and we've got this one from the bottom left corner, and from the bottom right corner, we've got this one. We've done, we're done with number four. Let's get to the next step. 
Last up says you must draw a line parallel to the top line of the front part, but within the two faint lines that are coming from the top. <clears throat> Let's check how it's going to look like. You see, those are the two faint lines coming from the top to the vanishing point. <clears throat> within those two lines, but parallel to the top, you draw um, a straight line. Done with number five, you go to number six. Our step number six says construct a line parallel to the right vertical line of the front part, but within the two faint lines or a faint constructed lines that were projected from that particular side. So uh, the top of this line should join the line constructed in number five. You did remember that this line that was constructed in number five. It says this line must be parallel to this uh, right vertical line, but it must be within the two faint lines that are projected to the vanishing point, and the top of it must touch this uh, previously drawn line in number five. Let's check the line. There it goes, exactly as it was required. Now, we go to point number seven, which says, now both the lines that make up your 3D oblique box. It must look similar to our initial oblique drawing that we have drawn up there as our reference. Let's check as to whether it will resemble it. We bold the outside lines of our 3D drawing. There it is, looking exactly like it looks there. But now there's something. There's something that make it not look so identical. There is this line here. If you look, there is this line here going through our 3D drawing, our 3D oblique drawing. We don't want this line, do we? Now, let's check. It brings us to our last point, which says, remove the hidden detail line that runs through the 3D stove. That is a line that runs through the stove. We must remove it. Let's now remove it. There we go. The... 3D drawing resemble our oblique drawing exactly as it appears there as a, our reference um, drawing. But then you must appreciate the fact that if you look at our oblique drawing, opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other. But if you look at uh, the one on the perspective drawing, the only difference is that the lines, the opposite lines that are projected to the vanishing point are neither equal nor parallel. The reason being, you see, this is a perspective drawing. They seem to be narrowing from the side to the VP. That is your single point perspective for grade sevens. I hope you understood all the steps and you'll be able to follow all the steps as and when you start drawing your own single point perspective. Thank you very much. And the next topic that you'll be treating will be the double point perspective. And that is applicable only for grade eight, term one, week four. Thank you for now. Let's meet on the next topic. And if you want to know more about this, you must uh, just visit us on YouTube. Just go to SAGET Tech and you'll get all these materials. Thank you very much.